Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Altrady. In this video I will show you the new Signal trading bot that we're currently testing internally and will be releasing very soon. Just in case that you wanted to make sure that the Black Friday deal is really a good deal and that the Signal bot really is coming, I will show you what it currently looks like and how you can use it and what kind of filters you could set up and how you can take positions with the entry settings and the exit settings uh, that you would like to use. So first of all you can set the bot name then you could select the signal provider. Now we currently have only one signal provider, which is the crypto base scanner. Uh, we do have plans to add a marketplace where you could select multiple signal providers uh, and then you can choose the one that you'd like if we support it. You can select the exchange. Uh, in the beginning, we will only allow the spot exchanges uh, just because the future exchanges can be a little bit more tricky in the beginning. Um, so we wanna make sure that we get it right. So we wanna make sure that we get it right. A, for the account, you can select the account which you want to use. If you have multiple accounts set up from the same exchange, you can easily select it. And you can select the currency. You can also see the available funds that you have for the crypto bot. And then next up, you could select the filters. So of course, you can select the algorithm that you want to use. Um, you could choose day trade, conservative, or position. And you could select a success rate. So you could use the minimum success rate and the maximum success rate to get that sweet spot of bases that get respected. Then you can select the max concurrent positions, which means how many positions you can have open uh, at this period of time for this specific trading bot. And also how many positions per market you would allow. You can set up your filter for the volume and you can choose to filter by BTC or USDT. And this is just a minimum volume. So basically every market has a 24 hour volume and you can select the minimum and the maximum volume for that market. You can also use a price selection. So if you want to filter out those markets with really, really low prices, um, then you can do that. And you can also set maximum prices if you want to get in that sweet spot because lo lower priced markets have really high swings. Um, they have lower volume, so you could go in with less volume, but still you might want to use it. And then we have a whitelist and a blacklist. Now our whitelist and blacklists, you can use uh, what we call regular expressions, which means that you could just put in a star slash BTC and it will filter out everything uh, that belongs to BTC. So that means that you could easily filter out like the up and down markets from Binance or any other market that you really don't like. Then for the entry settings, you could select the available funds uh, in, as a percentage or you can select it as a fixed amount. So that means that you can just select any percentage of the initial order size and you could set that to a fixed amount as well. Then for the entry expiration, you could say, so you could say that it needs to be bought within at least one minute and you can set up your dollar cost averaging. You could set up your target percentage. Right, so you could set the target quantity and then if you add another order, you can add another 100 and then you could see here at the bottom to see what your total position size would be compared to the initial order size. And, and you can keep adding targets until you're happy with your entry layers. For the take profit, you can select the custom or you could select it from the signal provider. And in this case, the target will be half the median or it will be sold at the base level. You can choose. In this case, you could set the profit volume. So you could say how much of your position you want to sell. So in this case, you want to sell 100%. You want to be completely out. Uh, and you don't want to leave anything behind. You could also use this, for example, to leave some coins in and gather some free coins. And you can add multiple targets if you want. And just select the position size. And then you can change the position size and you can easily see what would happen to the volume. And you can use the sliders to select the order size you want for each order. You can also set up a stop loss. You could again use the signal provider or you could set up a custom stop loss where you say, no, it needs to be always at 26%. And you can also give it a cool down. So that means that if the stop loss is triggered, it will wait five minutes in this case before the stop loss is actually executed. If the price moves up again, then the stop loss will be canceled and you just try to reach your targets again. We also have the time-based auto-close, which means that you can close the position 
uh, at a specific time. So if, if one hour has passed, the position will, clo will close no matter what. You can also duplicate the bot and you can delete the bot forever. All right, that's a quick overview of the bots that will go live very soon. Now, there are some things that we need to fix and we need to tweak in terms of the UI and in terms of how it runs. And we will hope to have an alpha test ready soon. Now, I hope that this video about the trading bots would have helped you to make a better decision for the Black Friday sale. So make sure that you do get the Black Friday two-year deal in time because it runs out in three days. And in case you're not able to fully commit to us yet for two years, then we do have this coupon which will get you another 10% off of the current pricing. So the pricing will increase significantly on the 1st of January. So make sure that you grab the deal while you still can. Now, I also wanted to let you know that I've started an own YouTube channel where I will do my personal trade reviews using the crypto base scanner signals and a trading bot. So if you're really interested in these, please make sure that you watch the videos. And then if you like it, please subscribe.